Hey everybody, what's up? And welcome back to the garden for another update. And it's been about a week since I've been in the garden. I took a little break. And oh my goodness, take a look at this stuff. It's ridiculous. So I think the first thing, first and foremost, that we need to talk about are these sweet peas. Oh man, these things are going nuts. Uh, these are the ones that we planted in the fall. The weather's been about 90 Fahrenheit and it's been blazing hot. And the sweet peas are just blooming like crazy. They obviously don't like the hot weather, so the stems aren't very long. These obviously aren't going to make very good cut flowers. But man, look at these things. They're gorgeous. Also in the garden, we have this fever few. The fever few is also starting to be in full bloom. This is the white wonder fever few. You can see those double flowers on it. Look really nice. I can't wait to start using these for cut flower arrangements. So while we've been gone, we've also got some new growth on the Love and a Mist Nigella. This is the variety called Delft Blue. Uh, usually Delft Blue is kind of streaked with these blue streaks. A lot of these are more just plain white, but there definitely are some ones with the blue streaks too. Um, I really like this variety so much. It's just so kind of subtle and interesting. And the seed pods look great in cut flower arrangements also. So it's really just a double bonus there. It's pretty much an overview of the garden. What it looks like we have the larkspur here to the left. You can see they're starting to bloom. There's one kind of purple flower spike there. Uh, to the right of the larkspur we have the um, lisianthus. They're getting bigger. Um, also the zinnias are getting a little bit bigger. And you can see our tomatoes and our sunflowers are getting a little bit bigger too. I'm going to have to start trellising those pretty soon I think. Hopefully. Hopefully they'll keep going. You guys haven't seen much of these, but these are my holus pumpkins. I planted these back in May, the beginning of May. And um, they're getting pretty big now. They're looking all right. They, they kind of just sat there for a long time after I transplanted them from the tray with their family starting to put on some growth, which I'm excited about. Here's a quick look down the entire length of the hoop house. Now it's getting kind of hard to see what all's going on. There's some fever view in here. There's some bachelor's buttons finishing up up front right here and the sweet peas way back in the back and everything's getting really tall we also have some of those straw flowers finally starting to bloom some of those straw flowers that we um sowed in the fall I went blank there for a second um only half of them made it through the winter but the ones that did are very pretty these are nice kind of magenta color magenta purple color with this hotter weather, the magnolia snap peas are also going to start finishing up soon. I don't see any new blooms or anything like that. It looks like they're filling up those seed pods, and I'm going to save those. Obviously, I'm going to save the seeds. That's why I'm letting that happen. So I'm just going to let those dry on out, and we'll be able to save those seeds. Um, those got really tall, about 8 feet, maybe 9 feet tall. Really impressive. Really like it. Here's that one tall flower bed. We have um, the Cleome on the right. Don't worry, that's nothing. It's Cleome, don't panic. And on the left we have our cucumbers. Um, the cucumbers were starting to vine across, so I had to kind of train them up this trellis a little bit. No big deal. Also, the zinnias are getting huge over here. Um, it's a mix of zinnias, but they're getting quite large. They're getting full sun. They're really liking it. And uh, we have some Tithonia and just random odds and ends. And the vines have gotten a lot taller than cathedral bells and the hyacinth beans of course have gotten a lot taller um that's really about it for the garden and for this update you can see the potatoes in the far end there they're nice and big they're starting to bloom um, they've got flowers on them so i know they're doing what they're supposed to be doing the lettuces are starting to bolt and those are going to get pulled out soon the onions here in the foreground are getting nice and big they should start bulbing this week if i had to guess I'm going to have to go through there and pull out the rest of the grass that's left. Other than that, everything just looks really great in the cut flower garden and in our vegetable garden. And thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you so much. I hope you guys really like this one. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, tell a friend, all that good stuff. I'd absolutely love to have you. Hopefully, um, I'll get the audio working again with the wireless mic because it's already not working, which is very frustrating, but um, hopefully I'll get it together soon. Hope you guys are having such a great day. I will talk to y'all later. Bye guys.